And now weather with meteorologist Alisa Rafa, certified by WeatherAid for the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks. Good morning. We are starting out with a couple of clouds out there this morning. It is 74 degrees with southerly winds and it's feeling tropical. We've got that tropical air mass coming off the Gulf of Mexico, so dew points are over 70. It's just going to feel pretty humid out there the next few days with those remnants of Laura nearby. We've got some mostly cloudy skies this morning. Most of us are dry. You got a shower up at Lake of the Ozarks this morning. Areas to the north in central Missouri might be the prime spot for some spotty showers this afternoon um, because we'll have a lot of cloud cover to the south from Laura, but for the most part, we should stay dry all afternoon. Laura is a category two hurricane with 110 mile per hour winds moving straight north at 15 miles per hour. You can see some very heavy rain bands wrapping around Alexandria and uh, sitting right over Lake Charles, Louisiana there um, where there are tornado warnings and flash flood warnings in these outer bands. Now, Laura made landfall at one o'clock this morning near Cameron, Louisiana as a strong category four storm. A category five storm starts at 157 mile per hour winds. Laura made landfall at 150 mile per hour winds. So at that point, you're just splitting hairs. Of course, a very incredibly strong storm. The central pressure was also very low at 938 millibars, telling us it's a very strong storm. It is the strongest storm to hit southwest Louisiana. You can see we're tapping into some of the cloud cover up top to the north. Of course, the action is still in Louisiana this morning with uh, plenty of flash flood warnings in effect as the center of circulation goes just north of Lake Charles. The tropical storm force winds extend 175 miles out from the center, and you're still looking at up to 15 feet of storm surge, making it 30 to 40 miles inland. This is why the National Hurricane Center called that storm surge unsurvivable yesterday in its forecast, expecting lots of devastation once the sun comes up. So Laura continues to track north with hurricane and tropical storm warnings in effect for all of Louisiana and then getting into Arkansas. It becomes a tropical depression in Arkansas today as it tracks through there. Then we'll start to make a turn through the boot heel of Missouri. So we'll find the heaviest rain track near that center of the cone there. As far as severe weather, because this is going to have its own spin in circulation, so you can get strong wind gusts and isolated tornadoes. That also looks to miss us just to the south and east with the greatest threat through eastern Arkansas and then getting into the boot heel. We've got a little bit of a marginal risk for some of our south and east counties there where you might find some strong wind gusts. Uh, so hour by hour, again, we're mostly cloudy out there today. Probably not much happening yet. Temperatures in the middle and upper 80s. By tonight, we'll start to find the Laura remnants get into our south and east counties. Don't expect it to make it to or north of the interstate. It's going to stay in southeast Missouri and northern Arkansas with some heavy downpours possible there. We'll start out with some of that rain to the south and east tomorrow morning, and then it pulls out by tomorrow afternoon. You expect mostly cloudy skies with temperatures in the upper 80s. So again, the rain forecast continues to get to the south and east. You might find one to three inches just to the south and east of West Plains, probably about an inch from West Plains to Mountain Home. But again, a steep drop in the rain totals. Don't expect anything in Springfield and areas to the north and west. So Laura remnants arrive to the south tonight. Track east tomorrow with the heaviest rain in southeast Missouri and northern Arkansas. Little to nothing near and north of the interstate, just cloudy and humid. You could have some gusty winds there as well. 88 degrees today, mostly cloudy. Laura tracks south overnight tonight and tracks east by tomorrow. 89 degrees there. Once we're done with Laura, a cold front sets up and sets up camp. You're looking at a couple of showers and storms through early next week.